Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for a contest that might be here. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Germany. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. The United States have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly. So we're up and running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? It's got to be the German Messi, Mario Goethe. Uh, one of the most effective footballing drifters you'll come across, whether wide or playing as a false number nine. He's incredibly elusive. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Try cutting inside here. Crosses it in. Hoists it forward. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement. Forget it. It's Kundawan. It's a good put in there. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Too much elaboration and not enough penetration. No damage likely. And here's Canabri. It's come loose. Done very well to intervene. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. That makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Ginter. And here's Canabri, and here's Kutza. Out to the right. It's a 
Good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Gnabry looking to get on the end of this. Gnabry has been caught there. It's a foul. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. There's the end of the first half. Both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So your views on the first half? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that.